Hi, using Windows 10, how do we record a lecture online, be it from Panopto, Teams, Zoom, or any other option through Windows that you wish to record? We can use the voice recorder that's built in. We could use the we could use the Xbox Game Bar option, which I'll leave a link underneath, but that also captures the screen. All I want is the audio in a format that then we can input into Dragon and Dragon transcribe that into text for us. Let's have a look. So first thing we need to do is change the settings to voice recorder. Now voice recorder, let me show you here, is the option we use to record. But what it would do is it will record from your headset and your microphone, which we do not want. So would you type in there for me instead? Control panel. Then select for me sound. Pull that over. Go to recording. This is the option I want you to turn on stereo mix. Do a right click and select enable to turn it on. Click back on it. One other thing I want you to do quickly. Come down to properties and select listen. Make sure this is unticked, otherwise you get feedback echo and it sounds awful. So it's imperative you make sure that's unticked. Leave everything else as it is, it's all fine. And select OK. I'm gonna leave it on DVD quality, but there again, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit then. Let's go to studio quality and select apply. And OK, so the better quality you record, the better transcription is going to be. And select OK. So now we've set up the options, the voice recorder will now record what's going on in a video. So I want to close that and open up YouTube as an example of a lecture. So now I'm going to open up voice recorder and record maybe about a minute or two minutes of this actual lecture. Uh, firstly, firstly, the, the teaching, teaching staff, staff on, on the, the MSC in Applied Linguistics in, in the, the old, old department of Applied Linguistics where, where I did, I did my MSC in 1977. Uh, and, uh, secondly, and secondly, to, to the, the many, many colleagues, colleagues that, that many colleagues, many colleagues in, in the, the Institute, Institute of Applied Language, language Studies, studies where, where uh, uh, I worked, worked for, for 30, 30 years. years. Now that's recorded. I'm going to close that. Actually, I'm going to minimize it. And we can see the recording here. To access the recording, see the three little dots and select for me open file location and there's my file I'm going to play it back university in particular uh, firstly the quality sounds pretty good so now I can add this recording into dragon which I'm going to open up now so open up your dragon And what you need to do if you haven't done this yet, you need to create a profile, which I want to show you quickly, specifically for transcribing in a different voice. Currently, I've got my own profile in there. Now, select profile for me and select new user profile. And select new. Next. So I'm going to pop in here, I'm going to call this transcribe and make sure you tick underneath here so this profile is transcribe recordings of someone else and select next. Select your language, so English and also make sure you use an accent so you could use accent not otherwise specified but I'm going to leave this on standard, select next and let it create a profile specifically transcribing audio. Don't enable this for now, select next and finish. I've now created a transcription profile. If you've got time, just read through this, how to improve it. It tells you the different formats you can use. And you can see the formats here. So what actually the video recorder does in Windows, it records it in this format here for you. So it's easy enough to import into Dragon and transcribe. So I'm going to close the recording option because I've got the audio file here. And I see where it is. It's in my documents sound recordings. So if I come up to tools, transcribe recording, I need to find that. So I know it's in my documents folder under sound recordings. And there it is. 
I'm going to open it up, close the back window there. Now I'm ready to transcribe it. I'm going to leave automatically add commas and periods. The problem with that is it doesn't always put them where you want them, so bear that in mind. And this tells you what you can do. So if you're actually dictating yourself into a dictaphone and you should say comma, full stop, scratch that, those commands will be recognized that you've recorded and acted upon when it transcribes it. So bear that in mind. Right, so let's select transcribe. Shouldn't take too long, it's just over a minute. And now we can choose where we want to open it up. Now, DragonPad is its built-in own word processor, but I'm going to use Microsoft Word. You can choose even to copy it just into clipboard and copy it where you want. Click done. Let's maximize that. I'm going to click on the beginning, come up to the option to review. Just going to play that back, enable content with the read option here. Thank you very much. Before I do try like to acknowledge the professional debt that I owe to groups of staff within university in particular. Firstly, the teaching staff on the Master of Science in Applied Linguistics in the old Department of Aquatic Districts where I did my MS in 1977 and secondly to the men... And select pause talk. Right, that's not bad actually. Oh, it's not 100% accurate. And the quality seems pretty decent. So definitely worth a look at. Thanks for watching.